Let us take a look at bucket types because apparently Adibus has more than one type for S3. There used to be only one, but Adibus recently introduced, at least when I made this video, a new storage class and that necessitated a new bucket type. But let's talk about the original bucket, which is general purpose buckets. So for this general purpose bucket, the data is organized in a flat hierarchy. Um, that means there are no folders. Uh, there are folders in a sense, and we'll talk about that um, in a future slide here. But the idea is that everything literally sits in one folder, uh, one namespace. This is, of course, the original S3 bucket type. So whenever you are spinning up uh, a bucket, this is what it's going to be using unless specified otherwise. And it's recommended for most use cases. And because it is, it's going to work with all storage classes except for one in particular called the S3 Express One Zone Storage Class. There aren't prefix limits. Uh, uh, there is a default limit of 100 general buckets per account, which is that limit that we talked about uh, earlier in, in our restrictions and limitations. But let's talk about the, the new bucket type, which is directory buckets. And as the name suggests, it organizes data into a folder hierarchy, which is uh, a little bit different for uh, object storage. And it can only be used, at least at this time, with the S3 Express One Zone Storage class. I'm not sure if AWS has more plans for this or if they just had to make a special bucket type just for this storage class. Um, this is recommended when you need single digit millisecond performance on put and get. And that's exactly what that S3 Express One Zone uh, storage class does. And we'll talk about that when we cover it in another uh, slide. Uh, there aren't prefix limit limits for uh, directory buckets. So it's really interesting because, you know, they say there's no, I mean, I know there are no limits, but um, I put an asterisk there because I'm not 100% sure why we need to point that out, but it seems that there could be some kind of limitations that I'm not aware of as the language is indicating. But from my observation, using uh, both bucket types, I haven't seen any limits. So I put an asterisk there just in case there's more to investigate. Uh, individual directories can scale horizontally. So that's really important to understand because now we actually have folders. And when you have a flat hierarchy, it's very simple to understand that that's gonna scale. So do the folder scale? Yes, they absolutely do. There's a default limit of 10 directory buckets per account. Can you use a service limit to increase it? Possibly, I didn't look into it. Again, it's very, very new uh, uh, when uh, this feature came out from the time I'm recording this. So I don't have all that information here, but the most important thing is to understand there are these two bucket types and the takeaway is directory buckets are for S3 Express one zone storage class. Okay, there you go.